Hi there. Um, I just want to share with you really quickly this project that I made for my father-in-law. Um, for those of you not familiar with um, this image, uh, this is, these are characters from a show called Breaking Bad. And um, it just recently ended and everyone in my family is very sad. It was one of our favorites. Um, my father-in-law especially. So I made this for him so that he would have something to remember it by. So um, I just took a canvas panel and um, the first thing that I did with it, okay, well, first of all, this image um, my friend found for me online, so she just printed it off and I cut it out. And then um, I decided where I wanted to lay it. Um, that's all that it was, so I, it's not that I cut out, you know, I think I did, there was something right here, I think another character, and it just, it didn't uh, fit right uh, because it was cut off it, in portions, not everything, not all the shapes were completely drawn, like there was like a beaker that was only half, you know, <coughs> excuse me, half drawn, so, um, and like the sign isn't completed, so, you know, I cut off one of the characters here, just to make it more um, flowing, just to give it more flow, I should say. And so I decided to position it on the left side, down at the bottom. Um, I didn't lay it down yet, I wanted to build up the texture on my background, so, the first thing that I did was I took some strips of um, paper that was, uh, it had texture on it, it was embossed with some glitter on it, so uh, you can see in here and in here and in here in places, you can see that even though I painted and sprayed over the paper and you can't see the pattern, you can still see the raised texture, which I thought was pretty cool. So I just tore them into, you know, rough looking squares and in different sizes and I laid them uh, like here, 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 and here. And then the next thing that I did was I took this stencil, the circle stencil, um, and I took my molding paste and I just put some through here, here, up here. Um, along the side here, but it got covered up by all of the um, molding paste that I put along the bottom. And I just kind of wanted it. This, the show is based in New Mexico, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of represent the desert and the mountains in it, so that's what that is. <laughs> and let's see, there's some crepe paper here for some texture. Uh, that's okay so that's about it for that part and then once I glued everything down I um, did like a light coating of gesso just in some places through here and through up there and then uh, next I glued my image down and then I did I did this molding paste sorry that's when I did that and then I went to town with my paints. I just uh, mainly took black and I mixed up um, this olive color, this like dark gray olive color, um, some gray, and um, I just, you know, painted down here. I took my Lindy sprays all throughout here and down here. And the ones that I used were, um, let's see, I, used Tibetan poppy teal and I also used the Tahitian love teal I'm sorry that's tainted love teal and I used Midnight Rendezvous Raven and Ponderosa Pines Olive, and lastly, I also used a Moon Shadow Mist in Land Lumber Green. So those were the sprays that I used, and I just kept spraying and drying, you know, between the layers and, and dabbing until I got the effect that I wanted. So um, once that was done, then... Uh, the chicken wire. I had this vision in my head with the chicken wire 
and it turned out pretty good. I like how it turned out, but wow, was it a pain. Like <laughs> The first thing that I did was I cut the shape that I wanted, which I knew that I wanted to drape it down along the side. And then, um, and then I gessoed it because I didn't want it to be silver. So I wanted it to be black and I painted it black. And then once I did that, which, um, I used, um, I just used regular acrylic paint and then I glued it down and I used, um, E6000 at first and I weighed it down and just in places to where it wasn't completely flat, it was so hard to get it to stick. So I ended up using some hot glue in some places. And yeah, that was the longest part, was trying to get the chicken wire to stick to the, to the canvas. But I did it, it is achievable, and there it is. <laughs> um, so once that was down, I took some, um, some cheesecloth, which you see here, and I also sprayed that with some Lindy's. Um, I used the Rendezvous Black on there, as well as the Ponderosa Pines to get that color. And um, I just, you know, just threaded some through there and glued it and through here just to, just to fill in some spots and then through here. And then um, the title, One Man's Journey, is from my father-in-law's um, album. He plays music. He's been playing it since he was really, really young. He learned it from his father. And um, I think it's in the genes because he doesn't even know how to read the music. He just plays it by ear. He plays guitar and the drums, and he's really, really phenomenal. So he's been writing and playing music for basically all his life and his compilation of songs he calls One Man's Dream. And then Time is a Thief is one of the song titles from there. So I thought, and actually uh, the titles fit really well with the theme of the show. So that's why I chose that. And then, um, and then I just wanted some more dimension and texture. And then also this area right here was kind of, was kind of void even with the the title here so I thought the chain I had some black chain and I thought if I just looped it a couple times through there that would look really cool and I like the effect that that it's given and then I just ended uh, you know I just put this um, little clock charm right there for to go with the title right there and then lastly um, there was some oopsies so <laughs> I just was able to cover it up with um, this rub on original, which we all think are, my whole family thinks this show is really original. So the characters, the plot, you know, all the episodes. So I thought that went really well. And then this says right here, one of a kind, um, which is by this character right here. And that happens to be where one of the mistakes was. So I thought that was, this is my favorite character and he is definitely one of a kind. I thought he was pretty cool. So I, like I put that there and then oh the last very very last thing that I did was um uh I sprinkled some tinsel glitter along the bottom here just in a few places just to give it some um just some reflection and some light which if I go like that you can probably see it let me just bring it up here because I thought it was pretty cool yeah there it is never in the corner there so, which, um, the color of his product, <laughs> for those of you who don't, who aren't familiar with it, his product is massive, but it's this blue tealy color, and so I just thought in the rocks, you know, so I just thought that was pretty cool, just a little effect down there, um, and that's about it, so I hope you enjoy this mixed media canvas, and have a great day, thanks guys, bye!